anthropomorphic robots actually have very wide application. For example, it can be used in for entertainment, for education, for medical purpose. For example, uh, many uh, sci scientists show that uh, autistic people, uh, kids, which is actually from two to three per percent, they lack of communication of, with another per person. And when we talk to robots, anthropomorphic, where social skills is developed, and uh, we, we will present uh, several models of head, including uh, Russian writers uh, Alexander Pushkin. So people can buy Alexander Pushkin for, for example, for education, people of literature and Rus uh, Russian language. So King Peter the Great for teaching history and, for example, Mendeleev for teaching chemistry and such, and Michael Faraday, for example, for physics. Now we see how he, he in process of scanning of the ob object, this name is SK. And we in this situation of computer, we see how it is work. We use laser for IP geopatronics uh, and to company, German company, social, military, space. It's basically a quadcopter that converts into a plane and flies fast and long distances. So uh, this is the first of its type here, in, at least in Russia, and of this specific type in the world. So, so the main usage um, is, of course, it's, uh, is, it has a dual usage in civil aircraft and in military. Uh, well, you can imagine the usages of this uh, hybrid approach. You can you can start you can start you can start vertically, like vertical takeoff and landing, then fly long distances like a plane and uh, land there.